Hey guys, I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stalls. Welcome back to 21 Ways Heat Printing Takes the Cake. We went through the first three ways and actually packed a whole lot more into that recipe in our first installment. You are watching part two, where we're going to jump into some awesome capability and some awesome products that are going to be produced. I'm sitting here in my home studio, but I've hand selected video clips of us making products with how-to advice that I'm going to be able to share to you all jam-packed into this uh, small 10 to 15 minute segment. And so when you think about all of the ways that heat printing takes the cake, meaning how does it deliver value, tasty value to your business, we have to look no further than the product assortment that we can offer overall and the finishes that we can achieve. And so those are going to be the two key themes that come across in this complete segment where we're going to talk about different items that you can create. We're going to move beyond the t-shirt and we're going to move uh, beyond the basic finish as we move through here. So you're going to love these clips. I want to start with, we're on number four. We did the first three uh, ways that heat printing takes the cake. Number four is all about performance apparel. And so performance apparel like I'm wearing can be a real challenge for a lot of decorators. It can also be a real profit opportunity. And the beauty of heat printing is that if you source the right material for the job that applies at a low temperature application, if you follow the instructions, there are materials that are created to match these fabrics perfectly. And I want to show you this video. Not only can you decorate performance apparel without scorching, but you can produce stretch results. So those are number ways four and five on how heat printing takes the cake. Enjoy this video. I'm gonna start by loading on this performance tee and do a quick preheat to release any moisture or wrinkles. Now we can apply our CAD Cup Premium Plus. Premium Plus is known for its low temp application at 280 degrees, and it um, really helps with performance wear because of that low temperature, right? Whenever you're working with heat sensitive fabrics such as spandex, you want something that's going to be low temp so that you're not scorching the fabric or getting a heat print box from the upper heating element. I'm gonna cover with a cover sheet and apply for its full application which is 12 seconds at a medium pressure. Premium Plus is a hot peel, so I can peel that carrier back as soon as it's done applying. And you'll notice that I'm being very careful as I'm peeling this carrier away because Premium Plus is also known for its stretchability. It has a four-way stretch, and when it's heated, it's easy to manipulate if you rip that carrier back right away. But Premium Plus has a soft, silky, matte finish, has a barely there feel on uh, the substrate that you're applying to, whether that's spandex, cotton polyester. But that's why this feels so great on spandex because it has that nice stretch and it bounces right back, right? It moves with the fabric as opposed to cracking if it's stretched. Pretty cool, huh? The fact that you can do stretch results, it recovers with the garment and you can decorate performance apparel, whether it's polyester, nylon, spandex, with the same confidence that you can approach a cotton t-shirt. I would highly encourage you to add performance apparel to your assortment, um, present it as a good, better, best, a basic tee, maybe a more premium tee, and then a performance tee. It's going to allow you to make more profit in your business for the same amount of time at the heat press. Uh, really valuable there. Now, as I get into the next part of my list, this actually is going to cover three ways that heat printing takes the cake. So it's number six, seven, and eight, all tied up into one look. And so when I talk to the blank apparel wholesalers out there in the industry, they tell me that fleece, the category of fleece is growing rapidly. And so the fact that you can accommodate fleece, not only just accommodate it, but accommodate it with quality results and really cool looks and placements is going to be all bundled up into this uh, three-part way heat printing takes the cake. So we'll show you how to decorate fleece. We're going to start to climb into some special effects that offer bling. Uh, you can certainly do glitter. There's a lot of special effect finishes. In this video, you'll see a single step foil result that can be cut on your vinyl cutter. And one of my favorite things, and you'll see it come across real clear in this video, is logo placement, brand placement. If you think about generating something unique and creating more value in a piece of apparel, 
uh, doing unique placement is going to make that stand out. So enjoy this video that ties up all three of those concepts into a short minute or two. And the last style from the Bella Canvas Street Fleece Collection that we're going to be printing today is the DTM hoodie. And one really unique placement that you can achieve with these styles is a pocket print. A popular finish in retail are metallic or foil-like looks. So we're using our CAD cut metallic that's been trimmed to fit the height and width of our pocket. And we're using a heat printing pillow to allow for us to print so close to the seams. This special effect heat transfer vinyl is also a cold peel. So while we wait for that to cool, we're gonna move on to our next print locations. For the other two print locations, we're going to be printing the sleeve with oversized text to match the oversized look on the front pocket. Now, this style of hoodie does have a drop seam. So what I'm doing is inserting my heat printing pillow to isolate my print area away from this seam that could potentially cause uneven pressure. Now all I have to do is place my transfer and repeat those same application instructions. And I will repeat that same step on the other side. Now let's head to the table and remove our carrier. Now that the carriers are completely cool, we can go ahead and remove these. And you can see that high shine metallic look that we're able to achieve on our sponge fleece hoodie. The color that we're using for our CAD cut metallic is copper, which pairs very nicely with this mauve color in the sponge fleece. Okay, I love that. Can you believe that she was able to accommodate the pocket on that hoodie? Um, we're starting to teach you some techniques that you should be picking up here as well. And so there are different accessories like the heat press pillow that you saw in the video. It'll be really important to add to your heat press arsenal so you can really maximize your equipment investment. And so um, that product placement, that special effect metallic finish that you saw and the ability to do high quality fleece, which is really on fire right now in sales, is going to bring a lot of value to your business. Now, number nine and 10. It's a, another combined point is that you can decorate outerwear with heat printing. So jackets can be intimidating. A lot of folks are afraid to decorate tough to do fabrics, but jackets can also be very profitable. Actually, when I look at um, any promotional product reports, jackets are constantly valued as one of the highest value uh, impressions for a promotional product. And so in this video, you'll catch ways number nine and 10 that heat printing takes the cake. The fact that you can do outerwear accurately and you can do tough to do fabrics like nylon. Enjoy the video. I'm going to start by loading on this nylon bomber jacket and doing a quick preheat to release the moisture and wrinkles in the fabric. I'm going to place the Gorilla Grip 2 in the left chest placement. And whenever I'm applying this, it's going to be a two-step application. I'm going to apply for two seconds. I'm gonna wait for it to cool and then peel the carrier. Then I'm going to cover with my cover sheet and apply for the full application 
but just 10 seconds. Once that's done, my garment is complete. So this has a nice soft matte finish, feels great on nylon, and I'm able to get customization on a nylon garment without scorching or creating heat printing boxes, which is exactly what I need as a heat printer. Next, we're gonna do a rain jacket, and I'm gonna be threading this on by opening up that port pocket. That way I'm not printing right on top of that mesh, and now I have a nice flat surface to work with and an isolated area for that left chest placement. Just like any other transfer, we're gonna preheat to release any moisture or wrinkles in the fabric. Now I can go in with the AquaTrue transfer and apply for its full application. With this, you don't need a cover sheet, so I can lock this down and apply. AquaTrue applies at a low temp of 275 degrees. It's a hot peel, so as soon as that's done, I can peel this carrier back, and my custom print is applied. Okay, really simple. I mean, you just load the jacket on there. You make sure you have the right platen for the job. You saw in the video how they easily interchange uh, with the lever. Depending on the heat press that you have, you can insert a pad, insert a pillow. Basically, we want to isolate that print area and get it flat, and that's going to open up a world of possibilities on what we can print and what we can print accurately. And the fact that there are heat transfers out there in each of those buckets that I mentioned up front of the video, in the first part of the video, there are heat transfers out there with special adhesives that are developed for nylon. Again, you follow the recipe in the video, you saw a two-part recipe where we press, cold peeled, covered, and press. Um, it's very easy to execute if you just follow the instructions. Okay, the last part that I wanna cover for this particular segment number two on how heat printing takes the cake, well, it's a standalone value and it's a product we've become all too familiar with and it's called a face cover. And so the sales and branding opportunities have uh, extended, right? They've extended above the neck. Not only uh, we'll talk about hats in the next segment, but we're working our way up and we'll talk about face covers now. There's a lot of things to consider when you're printing a face cover and you really want to uh, be able to not only print them accurately, but you want to be able to represent the client's logo onto that face cover and be as efficient as possible. In this video that I'm about to show you, you'll see how our digital screen printed transfers make that possible. For this ultra color soft transfer, I have my heat press set at 300 degrees and I have the time set for 12 to 15 seconds. And so let's start by positioning my designs into place. I picked an assortment of designs. So you can see that all of these designs can fit onto one sheet when you're purchasing. So that's pretty awesome when you think about you pay for the sheet, fit as many logos on the sheet that you possibly can, and that will drive your cost per sheet down quite a bit. So it doesn't matter how many colors are in the logo, you see single color logos, you see four or five color logos here, uh, color gradients and fades. Uh, all of this is no problem with Ultra Color Soft, and Ultra Color Soft can apply to these 100% cotton face masks that we're doing here today, or they can apply to polyester. So you wanna be able to cover these uh, with a cover sheet so the static of the heat press doesn't stick to the top. So make sure you're covering the majority of your logo. And then we are going to press it. And it takes 15 seconds. Ultra Color Soft is a cold peel, so we'll remove the cover sheet. We will stack our masks, move them to the side, and begin laying out our next grouping while these ones cool down and we prepare to peel. Okay guys, we're, we're halfway through our 21 ways heat printing takes the cake. That was way number 11. You've seen performance wear, you've seen unique placement, you've seen special effect finishes. You started to understand in the first segment the manufacturing processes that are out there in heat printing. Gosh, there's a lot more 
to tell you about this technology and how it can benefit your business. Hopefully you're enjoying this class uh, session and I hope you're looking forward to part three because we are going to show you some dimensional finishes and some additional items that you can decorate that really puts the icing on the cake. So stay tuned for that part. Thanks for watching uh, segment number two of 21 Ways Heat Printing Takes the Cake.